have a function and we have to prove it's a surjection. Before we go into the proof, let's go over the notation. So this is called the general linear group of order two. This is basically all two by two matrices with complex entries. And the determinant, determinant, non-zero. So it's all of the invertible two by two matrices with complex entries. And then this set here, the C with the star, this is all of the complex numbers minus the complex number zero. So it's all of the non-zero complex numbers. And so what does a matrix look like in this set? Well, if you have an A, in the general linear group of order two, then A looks like A, B, C, D. And A, B, C, and D are complex numbers. And the determinant of A is given by the formula, well, you just multiply A, D minus B, C. So this is A, D minus B, C. Okay, so we have to prove that this function is surjective, right? So given a non-zero complex number, we have to find a matrix whose determinant is equal to that complex number. So recall, let me give you the definition quickly. F from capital X to capital Y is surjective if for all of the Y's in capital Y, capital Y is called the codomain, there is a value of x in the domain such that f of x is equal to y. So we have to use this definition to prove that this function is surjective. Let's go ahead and do it. So proof. I use a different color for the proof. Let's use yellow. Oh, yellow. There we go. So we'll start by taking, keep in mind f, it maps this group into this set. Okay, so we have to take a y in our codomain, right? That's that's our y here. Our y is the non-zero complex numbers. We have to show it's true for all y and y. So take, let's call it z because it's a complex number. It's usually better to call it z. It's what people usually call it. So let's take a non-zero complex number. And then we need to produce a matrix such that the determinant of that matrix is equal to Z. So then let's look at the matrix A equals, how about Z, 0, 0, 1. So then this guy is in this set because its determinant is z times 1 minus 0 times 0, right? Using the formula we have up here for determinant. So that's going to be z. And z is not 0 because it's in this set. So that's why a is here. So we showed this part. Then f of a, well, that's the determinant of a, is equal to z. So we started with a z in our codomain. We found an a in our domain such that f of a is equal to z. So we're done. This shows f is surjective. Kind of a, a super rushed video because I had to go over all the notation, but I hope that helps.